Hey, what up, guys? Today we'll be differentiating between the true and the vocal, uh, the true and the false vocal chords. Okay. Um, this is on the MBBS Niger. Let's not waste time and let's uh, move. Um, the students in our examination were asked to differentiate between the true and the false vocal chords. Okay. Now, this is an image showing the true and the false vocal chords. Now, differentiating the true and the false vocal chords, there are some particular headings that you actually get to differentiate the two structures on that, okay? And that's what we are going to see in this tutorial. True vocal chords and false vocal chords. Now, um, the first differentiation is a different information. Now, um, true vocal chords are formed from what? Vocal folds. Why the false vocal cords are formed from what? Vestibular folds. Okay? This is um, the first one that has different information. Now, second, the difference in position in the pharyngeal cavity. Uh, you said that the true vocal cords are located in the lower part of the laryngeal cavity, while the false vocal cords are located in the upper part of the laryngeal cavity. We could back this up with this image. You could see the true vocal cords are lower, all right? Why the false and vocal cords are higher in the laryngeal cavity. Okay, this is another image showing um, the larynx. Okay, and we could see our, our true vocal cords here. Uh, sorry, sorry, that's a false vocal cords. And we could see our true vocal cords. Okay, now you can see that the true vocal cords are lower than the false vocal cords. Okay, uh, the false vocal cords are higher. All right, so um, that's two differences. Now let's move to the next differences. Um, um, difference in space in between them. Now, um, the rima glottidis is the space between the true vocal cords, or why the rima vestibuli is the space between the false vocal cords, okay? Um, difference in epithelial lining. Uh, we said that the true vocal cords is lined by what? Stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium. Why the false vocal cords is lined by what? Respiratory epithelium. Okay, true vocal cords by stratified squamous non keratinized, while false vocal cords is why is by respiratory epithelium. Okay, um, this is the false vocal cords, and this is the true vocal cords. Uh, at least I would like you to grab these very differences the difference in their location in the laryngeal cavity. You see that the, uh, um, the true vocal cords is lower than the false vocal cords. Okay. Now, um, the next two sets of differences are difference in function. Now, the true vocal cords function in formation of sound, while the false vocal cords is, uh, is non-responsible for sound production, okay? It's not involved in any formation, all right? But it is for resonance and um, protective function, okay? Now, difference in muscular content. Uh, we said that the true vocal cords contains what skeletal muscle, why the false vocal cords does not contain any muscle, okay? There are six differences we have seen. And these guys, that's the end of our, of our differences. Uh, that's our end of our differences between um, the true and the false vocal cords, okay? So see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now.